Thank you so much for staying with Daybreak. You're just in time for State of the Nation where we talk about matters, politics, and everything in between there. So joining us for the very first time and new to the panel is Honorable Samuel Atan, the Member of Parliament for Lego Songa is here. He had a bit of an incident. Thank you for making time. You will tell us what that was all about in just a bit. Thanks for coming in. Honorable Samson Cherarge is still here with us, Senator Fernandi. Asante Sana for coming through. Dr. Kimani okay. Wamatangi, Kiambu Senate and Majority Whip is here with us as well. Thank you so much for coming. And Dr. Alfred Mutua, Governor for Machakos. Asante Sana for coming through. Today, Otiende Amolo could not make it. He's feeling a bit under the weather, but he'll be okay. All right? <laughs> Brill, let's start off. You can tweet at Trevor Mbij at Citizen TV. <laughs> Kenya, use the hashtag Daybreak. Let's talk about everything here. And starting off from the Daily Nation. Front page. They say all back and no bite. Ruto's wake-up call. To his rivals, the sting of losses the deputy president has suffered in recent contests have exposed his underbelly, the soft underbelly. But his supporters say he's still the strongest politician. Atandi, I'll start with you on this one. What do you make of this situation with the deputy president allies shifting their moves left, right, and center? The numbers that were expected were not seen, not in the National Assembly, not in the Senate. Thank you, Trevor. Let me begin by saying that I am happy to be back here. I think I used to come here a while back, two years ago, and we shared uh, uh, this uh, platform with my colleague, the Senator for Kiambu. Yeah. And so um, I want to thank you for inviting me. Now, uh, uh, to the big issue uh, on the headline, I think I want to agree with the nation yeah. uh, that uh, William Ruth, the DP, is a paper tiger. Uh, you know, DP, if you look at his history, he's always been somebody who has been prompted by government. His yeah. politics has been about government logis, you know. So the moment he was forced to face off with government, he wasn't going to, do, to go far. And I think this is a situation he's facing. Uh, members of parliament, if you look at his numbers in Mount Kenya, for instance, in the recent past, he's been, uh, he's been forced to just work with a few, a few MPs, you know, not more than five, not more than six. These are few headliners. Most people have moved away from his uh, philosophy, from his politics, because his politics has not been grounded on any philosophy. It's been grounded, grounded on handouts, you know, giving, uh, buying MPs, you know. And you see, when, you're, when you focus your politics on money, you can, really, you can really hardly go far. And the, the, the moment has come for the MPs to go back to their seats. You cannot go, go back to your, uh, to your position if you are going to face the president in the Mount Kenya region. And I think this is the situation we are having in Parliament. The, uh, the DP allies now remain only members, MPs from his college in uh, uh, backyard. Those are the only people that now he can rely on completely. Everybody has moved on. People are looking for seats. Uh, in central province, it is the president that will call the shots. And I think this is something that uh, all of you will indicate me on. So I think this is the right headline, and I think... Uh, uh, very soon, we are going to see William Ruto just working with Gerard alone and maybe more common. And those are the people he's going to work with. And he's finished completely. Because I've seen the argument here that uh, he's strong because he's can, he can marshal 83 MPs. What will you do with the 83 MPs against uh, 250 or 300 MPs? You know, the country is moved on. The, 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 the new team, uh, the pro BBI team, has numbers. You know, we, ha we have overwhelming support across the country. And so we are going to, uh, he's going to be isolated. And I want to plead with him to join us so that he does not become a challenging kingpin that we have always told him that he is. Okay, Chirage, what is your response to that? Are you the only supporter remaining now? No, I, I, I think, uh, one, I want to say that uh, uh, to congratulate all the candidates that just did their KCC, uh, especially from my county. You know, by the way, I went to Capsabad Boys High School, and I'm happy it's one of the best performing schools at the moment, and many other schools that did well, especially in Nandi County. Uh, there is a school called Elwag Boys, which posted very impressive results for the first time, and it's a day school, it's a, a young school. Yeah. And I think uh, I want to urge parents, even as we celebrate results, there are many of them who did not do as excellent as should be. I want to advise the young girls and boys that let them let the, those grades don't define them who they are okay. the future is bright some of us were there but but we have made it so they should not feel discouraged especially the c's the d's the the, the b's the future is is luminous and we wish them well in the next step of their life and also across the country as we celebrate who perform well also we should also celebrate uh, 
those who did not perform because all of them are our children. Yeah. Uh, I'm happy that uh, it's, it seems that uh, without deputy president's name on the headline, the sales of most of the media newspapers have been plummeting. And I think they have resorted back to the, to the boardroom to bring back the root and name. You remember it's been long enough. But long and short, I want to use the words of uh, uh, ODM party leader. He said, how can you win a contest that you are running alone? The deputy president has never opposed or supported the BBI. It was not about the deputy president, and it is shocking that these people are trying to create us versus them, which we have declined that invitation. Uh, and I want to assure you there was no vote. Deputy president was not being voted yes or no on the, on the BBI. The MPs voted on their own motion, on, on the BBI process. It was not, there was no question that was being put, you vote for deputy president here, you put for the BBI. I never saw it on the other paper. So this one is hogwash. I don't think, uh, and, and where is numbers? Because do you need MPs numbers with the president or do you need the, the Wanjiku, uh, the Kyoko, the Acheng, and the rest to be the president? I thought you need the people. The MPs will not make you the president. But I want to confirm to you that uh, all of us, that are working together towards uh, and our real contest you know our opponents and i know this is what atandi and his uh, help have been wanting to do is to take us into a pseudo contest before the real contest yeah. uh, they want us to dance lame and uh, before the main dance and i think that is where the problem we are having in this country and, and i don't know why why would they link the deputy president in this contest he has never shown any interest what he has been advocating for and i want to put it properly that he has been advocating for what we are saying, let us carry on Kenyans together. And even Governor Mutua on this show has said several yeah. that the BBI document is good, but we need all Kenyans on board. He has said before, and that is the any right thinking Kenyan. Yeah. But it is like the BBI promoters wanted to reduce this contest into a contest of political competition and political muscle measurement. So, so I, I think well, from where I sit, uh, of course, this is just a headline, and I'm happy that uh, the sales will go up for most of the newspapers across the country, yeah. which is very significant for the growth of the economy, especially when you are recovering from the COVID. Yeah. But where I sit, I have no problem. We're still working with all. You heard yesterday Ndini Njoro in JKL yes. and many other members of parliament. We know what happened in parliament. You have heard that there are MPs that have been summoned to appear before the Speaker of the National Assembly. Because we know m most of the even in Senate, I can confirm to you, yeah. there were many colleagues that were being threatened to vote. Personally, it was not a coincidence that on the day of vote of BBI, yeah. my mother came up for mention in Bungoma, and they wanted me to go there in person. Last week, after Senator Mithika Linturi expressed his dissatisfaction with the BBI, he was arrested in the mid. Yeah. So we know the strong arm tactics that the, 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 the state machinery and the promoters of BBI yeah. are using trying to force this thing. Okay. You can ask, even some MPs allegation were paid 100,000 okay. to pass this BBI. So we are aware of blackmail, intimidation, and we'll not be part of Let them pass. Our main contest is in 2022. And I want him to follow the, the advice of Otiendo Mola and Senator James Orengo yeah. when he said somewhere, is it in Nyatike, that the real mm -hmm. contest is not about BBI. Let us wait for the real contest in 2022. Okay. Governor Mutua, you know, at some point, Ruto, the deputy president, hosted about 100 MPs in Karen. Mm. Uh, then they, were, they had a position. That, those numbers did not translate in parliament. Mm. Well, I think uh, I want to agree with uh, my colleagues here, both of them. Uh, I don't think that uh, you can wish away William Ruto. And I'm not saying this because I want to be, I'll be his main competitor in 2022, God willing. It's also because, you see, what we saw in Parliament is not really what you can say a reflection yeah. of the society of Kenya. They are, they are, I'm very right. He's, uh, uh, my good Senator Chirangani, I call him, <laughs> is, is accurate. Because the reality is, in this room, we've got three legislators. History has shown us that 75 to 80% of legislators are not re-elected. They're not re-elected. Yeah. That is why if the person who goes around with legislators in positions of uh, in, in power at the time is in danger. So they're not really re-elected. So you get a new fresh. Ruto is very popular on the ground. Yeah. And uh, let me just be, you know, uh, frank. He's a competitor, but he's very popular on the ground. Even in the Mount Kenya region, yeah. he's quite popular. Well, we're seeing uh, 
a wind of change. Yes, Ruto might have tried all these things, but I think the, the lobbying that was done by the state yeah. was done, was much better, and uh, it worked his favor. Now, the question becomes, is he really losing uh, his, 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 his power, his charisma and everything? And uh, my good senator from my uh, county of Siaya, and my good uh, legislator from Alego, has put it very well yeah. and said that money cannot buy everything. And I totally agree with you, Moshmiwa. And uh, this thing of giving handouts and thinking that handouts can buy everything, it doesn't work. When it comes to uh, the tough choices, people tend to make the right choices. And I think uh, uh, the legislators looked and they made the right changes. Now, if I was Ruto, yeah. I, would, uh, I would be very worried. Because what does this mean if an impeachment motion was brought? Mm. Would he really now call them again and try to buy them off? <coughs> Does it mean that we can see Ruto impeached? And chances are yes. Ruto is impeachable. That is what this showed us. Yeah. That he really doesn't control the legislators the way he thought he controlled them before. So if it was Ruto, I would have very uh, sleepless nights because things are changing and they will change as we go forth. But let us not wish away Ruto because if you think that Ruto is still not uh, powerful, he's still not on the ground, then you are bound to disregard him yeah. at your own peril. So that's where we are. But uh, before I finish, I want to wish my brothers and sisters of Muslim faith. Yeah. Uh, it will fit. I don't know if it's today or tomorrow. We're it's yet to today. know. So it's today or tomorrow. So it's today. It's been confirmed. It's today. So uh, it, it will fit. So uh, it's been a long month of uh, Ramadan, of the holy month. So I wish you well. And uh, I'd say that also it's coming at a good time because the rains are here, yeah. which is very good for food in the country and for economic stability. Okay. Thanks. Mometangi? Yes, sir. Is, uh, is this Ruto's wake-up call? Uh, Trevor, morning. Morning. And let me also take the opportunity to say good morning to our viewers. Uh, it's, it's been a whole long week of a lot of activity. And like you uh, correctly said, uh, well, uh, the, the outcome and the process of BBI, uh, is it, it cannot be a silent answer to the politics of the country. But, but um, and, and, and I, I, I will speak to that in a moment. But first, let me wish uh, our, our Muslim brothers, as uh, my colleague has done, uh, Eid Mubarak, and also say good morning to our viewers. And I wish all the candidates who sat for KCSC exams and did very well, uh, all the best in life, and I hope they'll get the slots they wish to get in, in, in high school. And still, I, I, I am impressed by an article that I've seen in, uh, in uh, Daily Nation, uh, page two. I'm sure we're going to be coming uh, back there later. Yeah. You know, that also uh, gives a lot of hope to the students who, who didn't excel, uh, you know, so much yeah. academically that they still have a chance in life. Now, uh, Trevor, I think um, uh, we, we are not comparing oranges for oranges or apples for apples in, in the conversation and especially when we look at, uh, at what happened in the BBI process. Yeah. Uh, one of the mistakes that I believe has been done throughout the process of uh, BBI is, is equating it and, and attempting to translate it as a political contest between Raila Odinga, uh, William Ruto and uh, Uhuru Kenyatta. Yeah. The BBI process has never been a contest between the three, never. The BBI, cont uh, the BBI document and that process as has been confirmed by the process that went on in Parliament, yeah. in the county assemblies, was a move by Kenyans who wanted to seek the opinion of the majority on various issues that affect people's lives differently. And I can tell you this, uh, uh, Trevor, that uh, one of the mysteries that I think has successfully been uh, demystified by the process and the outcome, especially in Parliament, is uh, are members of Parliament just uh, voting machines? That you can just bring something and then you say, all of you vote this way. And, and I would want to, because I'm the whip, yeah. and, and majority chief whip for that matter, in Senate. And uh, I want to disagree vehemently uh, because I was there in the process. I talked to people one by one with what my colleague, uh, Senator Cherage, is saying. There is nowhere at all <coughs> where any money, one penny, changed hands. Never. 
people were looking at that document and everybody was asking themselves, what is in it for us, for my people, for yeah. the community I, I represent? And, and you find for various reasons, including myself voting yes. I voted because I see in it a few things which would trans transform the lives of our people, f the ones that I represent. Yeah. In terms of uh, upscaling and bringing up close to the bar on what we would want to see in equal representation. And, and, and so, if you asked any of the people who voted yes, they had a reason amongst all the coterie of issues that have been raised in BBI that they wanted to associate themselves with. And the test now remains ahead, uh, you know, for, for, for Kenyans to decide is that right or, or, or wrong. Now, if you distill that and try to compare it with is Ruto popular, isn't he not, is he back or bite, I don't think you would get, it, it would be a poll that would be asking the wrong question, yeah. uh, seeking to get a certain answer. Mm -hmm. And um, unfortunately, uh, I would say when for most of the people who associate and support the deputy president uh, in parliament, yeah. I think they, they made uh, several tactical errors, if you ask me. Because um, the, the way most of them voted mm -hmm. were voting to make it look like indeed it is so. And, 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 and you find that because, of course, politics is not only by perception, but also by affiliation. Yeah. So you find that that commonness of pattern in their voting w w is the one that has given rise to this thought. And I don't think that they were smart, if you ask me, if you ask me from where I stand politically, to go that way. Because you are trying to show a certain uh, you know, formation and creating a contest that yeah. does not exist. And Chirage has said very, very well, actually, that uh, they, were, they, have, they have always stood for the, the point that uh, they, were not, uh, they don't wish to be drawn into a contest that in the first place was not there, but by the actions that that's what they were doing. Yeah. So, so I believe if we want to complete the BBI process correctly, if we want Kenyans to get the right answers, to the questions they've asked, we would rather move away from, from uh, this uh, deceptive interpretation yeah. that, that people are voting because they don't believe in Ruto, or they believe in Ruto, or they believe in Uhuru, no. or they, do, they believe in Raila. Uh, that issue should be awaited at the, at the referendum. Okay. The time when we are going to test whether Ruto is popular is when now we hit the ground. Okay. And, and we start campaigning for, 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 <coughs> for, for positions and political parties come the 2022 election. That time we will determine, is okay. he popular? Is uh, Israel Odinga equally as popular? You know, is, is, is uh, Governor Mutua popular uh, with uh, his presidential quest? And remember, I've also said I may be running. Just say if you're running, So, so and I, I believe that is the time when you'll be able to tell. Yeah. Now, who are the people who Kenyans believe in? Okay. And, and I also want to, uh, let me, allow me to summarize with this, with this uh, point, uh, uh, Trevor. Yeah. I want to congratulate the people of Kenya also, family. Because one thing that I've realized when I talk to people, yeah. especially even if you look at the feedback you get when we hold this show, yeah. Kenyans now are extremely enlightened. Mm -hmm. It is not the way it was before. Yeah. And, and don't be surprised if you, do, if you go to that ballot box in 2022 and after those votes are counted, those big names we've been talking about, you find that they're nowhere. And you find that the guys who will be leading will be the Wamatangis and the, and, and the Mutuas <laughs> and the others, <laughs> contrary. Because now, now people have, have <coughs> created a, a different marking scheme yeah. f of performance in, 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 in a, when they're determining who is going to, to lead them. Okay. And, and, and when you see, for example, what is happening in county assemblies, uh, at the Council of Governors, uh, you know, in, 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 in their lot. Yeah. If you look at the impeachments that are, that are happening right now, you find that people are starting to think that shouldn't we have, have done or made a decision uh, differently? Yeah. Uh, so, so I think, I think uh, the, the, the game is going to be changing. Okay. Uh, quite, Trevor, quite much. Attendi, you want to respond yes, to that yes, before yes. we move on to the next topic? Trevor, um, you know, I want to challenge my, my brother here. Yeah. You know, there are certain truths that we must... Uh, accept, especially when you are uh, discussing this issue of BBI, yeah. because BBI is a is a product of handshake, oh. yeah. the handshake between the president and uh, the right honourable Raila Odinga. That is the reality, mm -hmm. and so when Gerard says that uh, DP Ruto does not is not opposed to BBI, what does he mean? Has he been supportive of the handshake? Because DP has not supported handshake. He has been 
uh, opposed to it. You know, he's criticized the right honorable Raila Molo Dinga, a member as a, as a partner in the handshake. Secondly, I also want to say, uh, Trevor, that it is, you know, this is the moment you want to look at the caliber of leaders we have in this country. Yeah. Because every country has certain moments. What we are going through now is what some people have called constitutional moment. You know, the country is discussing the architecture of their constitution. So if you are a leader in this country and you are saying that you have no position, you have not taken a position on that matter, what does, what does that say about the kind of leader you are? Because when you say that D.P. Ruto has no position, you know, he is watching, he's here fence sitter. I think we need to give him a, a better definition. I think the definition that we have always given our brother, uh, uh, the Honorable Musioka, that is our chameleon, this one now actually, we need to take it away and give it to D.P. Ruto because he cannot say that he has no position on a serious constitutional matter which is uh, we are trying to change the actual, actual constitution. So in a nutshell, what I'm trying to say is that D.P. Ruto has been opposed to BDI. That mm -hmm. is a fact, and I want him to uh, say, say, uh, say <coughs> to the contrary. Yeah. Because he's been opposed to BBI, he has his strong allies who have come out and said, you know, we will stop reggae. Mm -hmm. are we, are, have we forgotten when he said that we are going to stop reggae? What, what did he mean? So what we are saying in a nutshell, and I want to agree with uh, Governor Mutua, that uh, uh, DP Ruto has reached his dead end in as far as the politics of this country is concerned. As to whether he's popular on the gr ground, I don't think, you know. He could be popular, you know, because he's always on TV, you know. He's always on social media, marketing his activities, so people know him, know more about him. But I think when it comes to the question of whether Kenyans can give him their votes, I think that is, that I, ca I cannot talk about now because that will come. He has never run for president. So the only person I know who has run for president who has gotten direct was Israel Amulio Dinga. So when you're discussing popularity of uh, people going to run for president, I think Ruto is, should not really be mentioned. I want to disagree with the governor that uh, Ruto is popular. He could be popular because, of, because he's marketing himself, you know. But as to whether Kenyans know what they want, I think Kenyans now know what they want. Yeah. If you walk in uh, across the countries, because we walk a lot when we are going to public meetings and parliamentary work, yeah. and when we are engaging Kenyans on public participation on the budget, and I can tell you that Kenyans really know what they want. You know, they will tell you in simple terms that this is what we want. Yeah. And I think this is going to be reflected in the processes. And uh, we have seen that uh, politicians are now, we are in a situation where we have to follow the voters. Mm -hmm. it is, we, are not, we are no longer in a situation where voters follow us. You go to a place and voters will tell you this is how, how we, we, wa we want you to move. Yeah. And I think this is going to dictate how politics is going to be played in, especially in 2022. So we must, we, it must be very clear in this, in this uh, panel that the BBI process is a constitutional process which yeah. is very strategic for this country and which any serious national leader yeah. must come out and sp put their views on it and it, say I it, either support it yeah. or I oppose it with reasons. Is that what happened in Alego Songa when you had a bit of a scaffold there? Were you trying to show the voters what to do and they rejected it? No, no, no. What happened in there is uh, th th that's local politics. What do you I, mean I, local have some, politics? I have some opponents, people who want to take my seat. Okay. Yeah, so there was... Uh, violence involving one of my opponents. And it was purely a local issue. It had nothing to do with the BBI and the national politics. That's some why you want to leave it? Yeah, some people wanted to make it national. It's not, it's just my opponents on the ground, you know, okay. who are trying to interfere with my activities. Right. It had nothing to do with the national <laughs> politics. I, I uh, think... Uh, 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 there are two things. Uh, what I want to say is that uh, DP Ruta in 26 February, when I hosted him in Nandi County, uh, in a place called Kobuja Trading Center. And I've seen you, you played that uh, video. Uh, I saw it in, in the news gun. The, and the deputy president says he's ready to work with any form of arrangement of constitution, whether the way it is now or as amended. And, and it is entirely the decision of Kenyans because now it's grouped to referendum. Yes. Wh what I want to say is that I, I, the, the deputy president is not a fence sitter. He, he, he spoke in bombers, he expressed reservations with the document. Everybody expressed, by the way, Trevor, if you followed the contributions of the VBI document, including Senator Kumani Wamatangis and uh, Senator, uh, my brother here, Honorable, from Alego Songa, Atandi, he said they expressed reservations. All of them who voted even, yes, that you know this document we can pass and amend later. 
to petition and have to recognition. But all of them express reservations, which the deputy did by saying yeah. that why don't we ensure we have a revised document? Because we have discussed here, even the vice, cha the vice, uh, vice chairperson of jail, like, and I'm happy he got his job back after serious lobbying here in state of the nation, is, <laughs> I'm told he's back to the jailer. He, he agreed with us, even the <laughs> committee. The committee that the joint committee of JLAC in the Senate and in the Senate agreed that the, this BBI document has a problem. In fact, they declared some sections are unconstitutional. Yeah. So the question is that is the position that we have been saying if promoters of BBI, Raila Odinga, and Uru Kenyatta want to bring every Kenyan. These people have been telling us, shouting hoes in televisions and in meetings, that we want to bring Kenya together. Yeah. Yet there have been very serious building walls saying, no, we want so and so. In fact, there is reached a time that his party leader said, those people who are not comfortable with, with this document, they should bleed, no. Yet they are telling us this is a constitutional moment where we need all Kenyans on board. And I think it is very important. Number two, yeah. I've had uh, uh, in, about impeachment motion. We are not worried. They can bring it today. In fact, they are, they are so late. They should have bring it yesterday. This impeachment motion they have been telling us since time immemorial that we want to impeach the deputy president, we want to do this, we have always told them the mandate that the deputy president enjoys, it was voted directly, jointly along President Uru yeah. Kenyatta. Yeah. And if they want to impeach him, they want to bring impeachment motion, we have dared them before. I told them when I saw the press conference of, uh, and I'm happy, the, the, the celebrations by the House leadership of the Senate has been, uh, they have been magnanimous and humble in the celebration because even they got over 80 yeah. percent. But I saw leadership of National Assembly, they were very excited, like, like young teenagers, and they were saying we can go to the next step, led by, uh, uh, the, there is a member from Kipipiri, I'm told he's the majority leader nowadays, that they can translate these numbers to impeachment motion and what have you. Yeah. But I want to advise them, if they have an impeachment motion, they should bring it. Okay. But the real impeachment that we will be facing is whether Kenyans will accept the presidency of Dr. William Samoe Kipchirchir Arab Ruta. Okay. I know all this is, by the way, it's Governor Mutua, as, as is, you know, my brother here at hand is, is disputing facts that the deputy president is the man to beat. He knows that, but because, he, and we, by the way, our only opponent is Raila Odinga. If he chooses to run or not, that is the whole point. Finally, what I can say is that uh, I agree with, with, with all my colleagues that after BBI, yeah. there will be realignment political. We, we have to accept that. Yeah. And, and we are happy for some of us, if this BBI passes, of course, every presidential aspirant, including Governor Mutu, will have opportunity of an expanded national executive of almost five positions, or even uh, seven, because you'll be having the Speaker of the National Assembly and the Speaker of the Senate and other positions within the, the where you can share even as you run for the country. Yeah. So any presidential uh, candidate, even after this BBI passes, they will have an opportunity. Finally, on the issue of, uh, I hope and I can assure you, this yeah. thing is unpopular. Okay. If the, the promoters of referendum will be able to achieve 30% legitimacy of this document, then it will be surprising. But if it does not reach 30% of the voters that will have a turnout, then it will be a bigger problem that uh, we, we need. But for me, yeah. where I sit, um, um, our main focus and singular focus, he said that some DP allies voted the way they would. Yeah. Like uh, Kimani Ngujiri, uh, the Bahati MP, like Senator Kinyo, all of those people, and Governor Mutua has put it very well. Yeah. And even Senator Kimani Wamadangi has alluded, they were voting for their own specific interest. Okay. The DP do not have interest in this BBI. So if, if a, a, an MP like uh, Kimani Ngujiri said, I'm voting because additional constituencies. Yeah. The, in uh, CIA, for example, they are getting additional one constituency. And in my neighbors, Kisumu, they are getting some of the constituencies. Okay. So there could be a reason as to why people are voting based on the way they were voting. Okay. It didn't involve the deputy president. Our All main right. focus now, singular focus, is 2022 uh, a presidential contest. Okay. And I want to invite my colleagues here who are running for president that let us meet at the ballot. Okay. Let's switch gears and talk about something else. And I was, uh, 